Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. So today is Singapore National Day weekend and on the 9th of August, uh, this coming Monday, the country will mark its 56 years uh, since independence. As such, I'll be reviewing this Singapore coin set from 1991 and the reason for me doing this today is because this coin set is the first uncirculated coin set to feature a Singapore $5 coin. The $5 coin included in this set was actually issued the previous year in 1990 and it commemorates the 25 years anniversary of Singapore independence. Now the highest denomination in previous uncirculated coin sets was the $1 coin and the Singapore Mint specially reserved the commemorative 1990 $5 coin for this set which was first released in October of 1991. Now before we get into this set, uh, please give me a like if you enjoy this sort of content and don't forget to share and subscribe. So let's get into it. Alright, here's a closer look at the set. It comes with this uh, protective plastic sleeve. And on the front cover, we can see the Chinese zodiac character for the lunar year of the goat. There were 70,000 of these sets uh, produced. Here on the back, we can see the obvious design of all the coins uh, included in the set. And for Singapore coins, the obvious is the site that feature the coat of arms of Singapore. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look inside. So here's the back of the front cover. And here's the specifications of the coin. as well as uh, some information about the design. So here are all the coins. We have the 1 cent, the 20 cent, the $1, the commemorative uh, $5, 50 cent, 10 cent, and the 5 cents. So let's go ahead now and take a closer look at this uh, $5 coin. As I mentioned just now, uh, this 1990 uh, $5 coin was issued to commemorate the 25 years anniversary of Singapore independence. Uh, this is a circulating commemorative coin and it's minted in aluminum bronze. Uh, it has a weight of 15.6 grams, a diameter of 33.3 millimeters, and a thickness of 1.5 mm with an incused edge. The incused lettering on the edge uh, reads uh, 25 years, Republic of Singapore. Here on the obverse, we can see the coat of arms of Singapore, the year of issue, 1990, and the word Singapore in the four major languages of the country. Here's it in English, in Tamil, in Malay, and in Chinese. In the coat of arms, we have two words in Malay, uh, Majula Singapura, uh, which uh, translate to Progress Singapore. Over here on the reverse, we have quite a busy design. Here we have the Singapore skyline uh, with a ship down here in the foreground and a 747 jumbo jet in the background, uh, probably uh, representing Singapore Airlines. Right above here, we have a stylized uh, 25 with the Singapore flag and the Singapore lion. Over here, we have the words uh, one people, one nation, one Singapore. And here's the face value. Uh, right over here, we have the dates 1965 to 1990. And the legend here reads uh, 25 years of independence.
It's actually quite a busy design. Uh, there were 1 million of these coins uh, minted. Uh, when they were issued, there was an issue price of $5.60 for the coins. And they came in a white, uh, white folder. Other than the 1 million coin, the only other way to get this coin is to get this set. Uh, because uh, 70,000 of the coins were issued with this set. Now all these coins here are still legal tender, but with the exception of the 20 cent, the 50 and the 10 cents, the 1 cent coin, the 1 dollar coin, and the 5 cent coins were not minted for circulation. So the only way that you can get these three coins is to buy this set. In fact, the coin with the highest uh, numismatic value in this set is the $1 coin. And it's the only reason why I got this set in the first place. Because I wanted to have a 1991 a $1 periwinkle coin for my collection. Uh, you can usually uh, find uh, these uh, $5 coins so individually in its uh, white plastic folder for around six to eight dollars but for this uh, 1991 one dollar coin they don't usually get listed uh, very often and in uncirculated condition they usually sell for above uh, 15 dollars the other three coin which were minted for circulation for the 50 cent coin, it has a circulating mintage of 20 million. The 20 cent coin has a circulating mintage of 60 million. And the 10 cent coin has a mintage of uh, 160 million. So they are pretty common. Now these sets, uh, you can usually find them in Singapore for around uh, 25 to $35 uh, depending on condition and when you're looking to buy this set uh, have a look at the one cent coin because uh, this coin is usually quite tarnished so when you want to choose one choose the set with the uh, the nicest uh, one cent coin uh, this one cent has a little bit of tarnish here but otherwise it is in pretty good condition So let's go have a look at the $1 coin. Here's the obverse of the $1 coin. Uh, this coin is minted in aluminum bronze, uh, the same as the $5 coin. And they both have the same design on the obverse. Here's the reverse of the coin. And the design on the reverse is uh, similar to all the other circulating uh, $1 coin of the time. We can see the periwinkle flower in the middle the legend one dollar on top and the denomination of one dollar below this uh, 1991 uh, one dollar coin is actually in very good condition with little to no tarnish so i'm actually very happy to get this uh, uncirculated example to add to my collection Now, I won't be talking uh, much more about the other coins in the set, but I'll just share just a little bit more about the one cent coin over here. Here's the reverse of the one cent coin. Uh, you can see the design here of the Singapore national flower, uh, Vanda Miss Joachim, uh, the legend on top, uh, one cent, and the face value of the coin here. Again, as I mentioned just now, uh, this coin was not minted for circulation and you can only find this coin in this set. The other thing i like to mention is that this coin is the first coin to be minted in copper plated zinc. All previous uh, one cent coins were minted in bronze. So this coin has its own uh, history.
Uh, just a side note, uh, Singapore no longer uh, uses the one cent coin. So our smallest circulating coin uh, right now is the five cent coin. Okay. So that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'd just like to add that these coins that you see in these sets are no longer being minted. Uh, these are the second series of Singapore coins. And we are currently using now the third series of coins. So these coins are only going to get more valuable, especially the $1 coin. Now, if you are planning a visit to Singapore, or if you are already here, uh, have a look out for this set. I think if you can find them for a good deal, uh, between $25 to maybe $30, uh, it will be a good idea to get one and keep it in your collection. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please uh, leave them below. Otherwise, uh, don't forget to leave me a like if you have enjoyed this content. And don't forget to share and subscribe if you have not done so. As always, uh, please take care, uh, be safe, and have a nice day.